Okay, so I'm going to start uh, or give a tutorial today on how to do macros, a basic one. Uh, hopefully it'll help people who use BlueStacks or LD Player. I, I, I'm not sure how it works in LD Player, but it should be the same or similar concept. So I'm going to show how you start a macro first. Now, first of all, when you start a macro, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a repeatable quest here that's completed. That's your first step to setting up a macro. A completed repeatable quest at the location of your choice. So in this case, it would be Cron Castle Underwater Cave. So I've already pre-saved the location. As you can see, my character is moving towards the pre-saved location. So that's very important for a macro. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is first find your desired farming spot. So in this case, my desired farming spot is here. So uh, so I'll just do it from start, I'll delete. So first thing you're going to do is just save the location where you want it to be. Then you turn it off. Okay, so this is how we, we start the steps of the macro. Now I don't know whether you can see, okay, not, I don't know. You cannot see my clicks. So every time I'm clicking on the macro, I will tell you where I'm clicking and observe where my cursor is. Okay, this is my cursor and hopefully that will help. So now I'm going to start recording a macro from start to end. Uh, for cron castle underwater so this is how it works in blue stacks you just record a new macro so i click record new macro so the first thing you want to do is click the home button here then click to nearby town and then the game will load now because uh, the ram may slow down if you especially if you leave the macro on for a long time so uh, when you reach town uh, don't click the vendor immediately wait for say about four to five seconds extra just like a save time and then you click on the vendor in this case normally i just go straight to the pet vendor so the pet vendor in villa is whale so i move here then i click and then you just click once huh? everything is just click once and then you just wait so it's now moving off to the pet vendor so again everything in macro you have to buffer just to play safe because you're living overnight so now the character has reached the pet vendor but you don't click anything until say another three or four seconds buffer then you you click on the vendor button here make sure you click on this one at the lower right corner the wheel because sometimes if you click on the one here it clicks on a player who's standing there and then it screws up the macro so always click this one so click this sell your junk I, I normally click sell junk a couple of times so you see I click three or four times because uh, it just screws up just in case then buy the pet food click once uh, I will buy 18 uh, it's just an, I'll explain that later so you click 18 confirm buy then you go to the window exit click then you click on your pet here once feed click on the second pad, feed, click on the third pad once, feed. Now you want to be careful every time you press macro, you only click one precise click and then you move on to the next point you want to click. It's all very deliberate and careful. Then after that, the next thing you want to do is uh, to clear your inventory, you go to Black Spirit, uh, you fuse your light stones, click once, auto fusion, normally I put it to rare or unique, it's up to you. Then you confirm. And then let it run for a while as it fuses all your light stones you got from the farming. So again, you got to buffer, say give it 5-10 seconds extra just in case you never know. Then click back here. Then the next one you want to do is feed your dark energy. So you click dark energy, auto select ones, absorb energy, then click confirm. If you think you're going to collect a lot of things, you might want to repeat the steps again. Then you click auto select absorb energy and then it's somewhere here and on the screen you press confirm again of course you can't see it because this i don't have enough gear right now so after you feed your dark energy the last step that i normally do for a macro is uh, you exit and you do skills training so all you need to do for skills training is this then go to the last tab here skill training click then press use skill books just press once will do because the new system eats up all your skill books and then quit then the last uh the next step you do is here click the home button then remember we saved the location we wanted to go to then you press to here auto path so now the character is going to move off to the location where you last save and all this time my, my macro is still running of course you can see up here it's still running so yeah i'm recording the macro so this is how the magic works 
so you got to let it uh wait and buffer so you you do realize by now uh, that the macro will always have to change depending on or you always have to do a new macro depending on uh, where you are farming because the the location where you go to the the time it takes to travel from town to the farming spot where you saved uh, will change from place to place so you always have to record a new macro if you change your farming spot uh, you also have to record new macros if you change the speed of your horse for example because obviously certain horses move faster than others so if in doubt always uh, put a buffer time So now we're coming to the end of the last few steps of creating a macro. So, so after I finish this, then I'll let the macro run once to show you how it works. Okay. So now I've came back here. As you as again, like I advised, so you come back to the farming spot, don't click anything immediately. Then the next thing you want to do is to clear the quest, the repeatable quest. What you do is you click here where my cursor is at the edge of the tab that's popping out. So every time your quest completes, right, it will actually stick, the, the quest bar will come all the way out, you see here. Whereas if a quest is not complete like this one, uh, the quest bar doesn't come out. So one way to minimize errors is to make sure that you, you put your keystroke to click here where this uh, triangle, uh, sorry, where the tick is. So you click once, let the text roll out, hold on, be patient, click one more time on the screen, randomly anywhere, let the text run, Click one more time, then click I want to stay here longer once, click accept, then click anywhere on the screen, say up here once, again once, and after this is done, this is my my tactic, go put your cursor here just underneath your first pad and press click once, okay, then after that, come back to this and click once and press auto path again to your last location. And then that's it. Stop. So the macro is already done. Okay, so um for blue stacks we, we just set interval. So normally um for cron castle I just put 30 minutes to be safe. Uh yep. So 30 minutes to be safe. Uh and then you just let's say put inf infinitely under stop. So why did I do the last click here underneath the pad? Uh, so this demonstration of the macro, uh, it will be very clear why I do it. It's actually a safeguard in case you don't actually finish your repeatable quest in time, your macro won't stall. This extra click helps you keep the macro going throughout the night. So now I'm going to uh, play this uh, macro, which I call uh, macro one, which I just recorded. I'll just say, I'll just give it a name, cron castle, U -W -W cave. Okay. So I'm going to press play. So now the macro is going to play. It's going to take you about, or rather take us about five minutes to see how it plays out. So please bear with me. Uh, but uh, then you'll see, just, just to sh demonstrate how it actually works. So now it's already on auto run, it's moving. So normally my macros take about three minutes to complete. The only reason why this is five minutes is because I'm spending time to explain more. So yeah. So while the macro is running, so you can see how it, it does everything by itself, maybe I can just explain. Uh, how long you want to set your macro on repeat depends on how quickly you clear the repeatable quests. Um, so for me, I normally put 30 minutes. I, that's about a safe time. So I actually can clear 1,800 mobs in about 20 minutes. I just put 30 minutes just in case if people are coming to my spot, right? You, you don't know, then that slows down your farming speed. <laughs> Uh, so I put 30 minutes as a buffer and um, I think the rule of thumb is 30 minutes you only require 15 pet food. Uh, so we were talking about that earlier, how much pet food do you buy? So if you want to do a 30 minute macro, I think 15 pet food is enough. If you want to do 40 minutes, it's 18 pet food. Then you, you scale it from there. It's really up to you. Um, so that's that's from my experience, how much uh, pet food you need. And that those are tier 4 pets. I have 3 tier 4 pets. Right. Um, Obviously, you shouldn't farm in a place that requires potions because um, basically the thing about macros is that the more clicks you make, the higher chance it screws up. So you notice I don't go to town to buy potions, which some people do, or I, I don't go to the vend other vendors like the gem vendors or the skill book vendors to buy. So I, I've tried to do more complex macros like that, but it tends to fail. Like, like it screws up after a couple of repeats. I'm not sure why. So I stopped doing that. So I just keep it simple. I always go to the pet vendor, buy the food, then I clear the junk. Yeah. So you see now it's doing the black spirit part. It's going to do the fuse light stones. I don't think I have any light stones left to fuse because um, 
okay, you can see jump here because I was demonstrating, but obviously in the real thing you don't. Oh, okay, it has light stones. Uh, and then the next step would be the black, uh, feeding the black spirit. Uh, did I get any gear in that few one minute? But even if you don't get gear, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't stall. So if you follow the steps that I just showed you, okay, I got gear, so that's good. But you see, if you follow the steps I showed you, you shouldn't stall your macro. So you see, even though I have no gear, it's going to do a repeat again because earlier I, I did the repeat action. You see, the auto select blink. So it's repeating the macro. Because sometimes, I don't know, you farm more than uh, 24 items in 30 minutes, right? Or if you do a one hour macro, then you're obviously going to get more than 24 items to feed your black spirit. Then you have to repeat this uh, process more than once. And the last step, which is skill training. So uh, again, remember, click skill training tab once, then click uh, select uh, use skill books. You don't need to select all anymore since the latest patch. Then you exit. And then you go back to Cron Castle Underwater Cave here, the macro goes Autopath. So hopefully this uh, tutorial will help everyone who is trying to figure out how to use macros to farm overnight. And of course, the, the golden rule here when you farm overnight is uh, don't turn on outlaw mode. It's not because you will die, but uh, even if you're server number one, you shouldn't because <laughs> Um, if you kill someone, uh, as you know, then there will be a kill count here at the top right corner. And this kill count will actually cause your quest bars to be pushed lower, which will screw up your macro. So you don't want to kill anyone when you are farming. I mean, you don't want to die when you're AFK farming with macro, but you also don't want to kill anyone. So you have to turn off outlaw even if your CP is like server or global number one, because it will screw up your macro. So turn off, mac uh, turn off outlaw mode before you sleep, that's for sure. So now we are coming to the magic. Uh, why I said I why why I I did what I the last click here. Remember I said this click here. So you can see this demonstration. You see my repeatable quest is actually not complete, right? Because I was dem demonstrating this macro to you. So what happens then if my repeatable quest is not complete and I try to click the macro? What will happen is because when you wanted to repeat the quest, there were the uh, you say I want to stay on and you accept the new repeatable quest, you're clicking somewhere at the bottom of the screen here, right? But now that text box is not going to appear because you didn't complete the quest. So what will happen? Just, uh, just watch. See, this thing pops up, and this thing pops up because you are clicking at the bottom of your screen right here. But it should go away because I did the extra click, click down here, right? So you wait for a while, you, you see it disappears, and then the macro ends now and it repeats. So this was a little trick that or something I found out in the past, and then you, this is just to repeat in case you move too far away. Um, Okay, there's some another more advanced reason why I repeat that, which I, I don't want to explain here to confuse you guys, but just do what I said. Um, yeah, so that was a little trick that I found out because sometimes I would have a lot of people farming the same spot overnight and then you just can't complete the quest and then that screen pops up, right? This 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 screen appears and then you are screwed because the macro is not going to work after this, you know? The way a macro works is that you cannot screw up. The moment something else unexpected happens, the clicks are not going to happen. So to counter this, that's why you do that one extra click underneath your pad here just once to clear the screen. So in the event you do the macro but your quest didn't complete, uh, it's okay. I mean, we are all high CP. We should be able to farm with overweight and then you just let the macro run and repeat. Uh, so hopefully this tutorial helps everyone with the basic concepts of how to do an AFK macro. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts or comments.